The northeastern route of Kenya is mainly a camping expedition run in 4x4s or overland trucks. It traverses along some of Africa's harsh habitat track and sea wildlife endemic with beautiful mountain and landscapes. Surrounded on all sides by a hot dust desert named Chalbi. The Chalbi Desert is the only true desert in East Africa. Apart from the spectacular scenery, the culture diversity consisting of 14 tribes of the northern Kenya. That makes the most lasting impression nomadic pastoralists such as Gabra, Turkana, and Sambul, whereas to the strictly traditional lifestyles and this is practically unique in the modern East Africa. Such journey is for true overland explorers and travelers like us who want to get off the tourist beaten track. My most favorite track of all time is a lifelong experience to do. Here we are, this is a dusty, rocky section and rough terrain. Extremely, extremely, and this is what we have been looking for. And we are super excited, excited for such kind of uh, Sure, and uh, a safari, off road, such kind of mix up. We love it so much. Uh, we appreciate about it. So, what to do? So, what to do? And today, we wanted to push uh, Big Boy Simba to its limits. It's gonna be fun. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. Subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Chalbi Desert Named by the Gabra people, which means bare salty area. The Chalbi Desert is a small desert in the northern Kenya near the border with Ethiopia east of Lake Turkana and contains not all. Marsabek is the closest major urban center. Chalbi Desert is the hottest and most arid area in Kenya. Average daytime temperature range from 43 to 46 degrees Celsius, whereas the temperature drops to around 14 to 50 degrees Celsius at night. The area experiences two dry seasons and two rainy seasons. Thank you. 
east of the remote Lake Trukana is the Chalbi Desert, a 100,000 square kilometers area equivalent to 38,610 square miles, named in the native language of the Gabra people as Salty and Bear. Driving along bumpy African roads in a 4x4 land cruiser, we visit isolated small villages, rift valley lakes and wild places that few get to see, taking in spectacular scenery on our travels. This is one in a lifetime destination. Leave the tarmac and the city light behind on this unusual journey into remote and sparsely populated northern region of Kenya. Here you will meet an unusual traditional tribes of Kenya. Experiencing Samburu, Gabra, and Turkana. Uh, man, Northern Kenya is not densely populated, towned and often barren. Visiting those parts is like living this 21st century. It is an explorer's heaven and a variety of tribes that live here are some of the most captivating people in the world. They include the Samburu, Turkana, Rendil, Boran, Gabra and El Moro. This is a rich 7,000 expedition run in Land Cruiser 79 series double cab. We traverse along some of Africa's worst roads. See beautiful mountain forests surrounded on all sides by hot dust desert. There are pans of salt in the desert which is picked up by many pastoralists and used as a natural animals, salt link. Finally, I think we are. But what is sand? Sand dune. This is this uh, rocky section, as you can see. Really rocky. The southern part of the desert is home of the Rondil, while the eastern part, which is towards the Ethiopian border, is home to Gabra people. It's believed that there was a lake in the Chalbi Desert that has dried up a thousand years ago. Therefore, it was named the Chalbi Desert, which means bear and salt. You rarely think of deserts in Kenya, but the north, more than half the country is an arid zone, most of it sandy dry. 
for 10 months of the year, the old northern frontier district remains one of the most exciting and adventurous part of Africa. A vast tract of territory crisscrossed by ancient migration routes and still trumped by nomadic Samburu, Borana, Randil, Gabra, Turkana and Somali's headers. Unfortunately, it is also a dangerous reputation with livestock wrestling and tribal feeding wild spray while banditry and the spillover from Somali's civil conflict make it too risky to visit northern Kenya. The experience of its own. Yeah. We are from something, all of a sudden, you're in rocks. It's believed that there was a lake in the Chalbi Desert that has dried up a thousand years ago. Like many of the areas in the northern frontier, the desert was once part of an intensive lake, as evidenced by the basin that fills with shallow water during heavy rains. desert is surrounded by volcanic hills that create a magical panorama with only selected animals and vegetation that can withstand hostile climates in the entire sub-Saharan regions.
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.